Hey folks, welcome back for more Lakeburg Legacies in what could finally be the end of this Let's Play. I think we have about 30 years left. Now, wouldn't it be a trip? Wouldn't it be something special? Wouldn't it be something wild? Should our crowned king and queen consort uh, live for 29 more years? Because they are not dying. They're 69 years old, which is a billion years old in medieval times. But I think we're doing well for ourselves. I'm going to let time run right now. I don't think there was anything particular. Oh, a couple is in danger. So from my understanding, you can't really do anything to save a couple, you know? I mean, I think what you can do... Oh, there they are. I could try to play matchmaker here. Give them, you know, give them a bit of that. But, ooh, Yacentha died! Wow, I feel like it was yesterday since Yacentha had joined our village. What was she doing? She was a miner. So if you go to the mines, uh, no one else can work here. Yikes. We are producing a, a lot of iron, but we can spend some tickets to make this cheaper to upgrade. Why not? I'll go ahead and build it like that. Build this like that. Who, who cares? Who cares? We are in a very, very strong position. I will sell some leather, I think. Oop, it changed. I need to be better at that. Need a pause. Okay, I'll go ahead and sell that. And then can I sell some veggies for gold? Sure, sure. One couple looking for love. Wolfram, that's right. Okay, so his wife passed. Uh, I think I'm gonna let him leave him widowed. Yeah, there's gonna be another couple here who are gonna break up pretty soon. It's these two, right? So when they break up naturally, there isn't much of worry in terms of like, they don't have like a life penalty acquired with it, I think. We'll see actually, we'll see. All right, cool. So we can focus on meat here, but in all honesty, oh, cattle requires less livestock or less animals, but are we getting animals right now? Oh yeah, the livestock, right? Oh, okay, here we go. So here is the divorce. They're going their own way. See ya, Petra. See ya, Conrad. Uh, we have one homeless villager, but you know what? That's fine, because what that allows us to do is have uh, more folks who can get married and pull in new villagers should we need them, and we might need them, all things considered, because we need to fill in. Ooh, we have more offers here. Let's go ahead and sell bread. Yeah, let's sell bread. Uh, we can get jewelry. We can sell jewelry for apples. Honestly, not... Not a big deal. <laughs> but what I want to look at now is that here's a butcher shop, right? But do we have like a livestock place? Here it is. Here's the livestock farm. So with the livestock farm, uh, here we go. So I'm going to spend this much money to upgrade that. Make it multi-purpose. Upgrade that. We have so much money. I love it. You can spend it for that. Um, and for cattle, I mean, we're making 34 34 a year? That's oh, that's a lot. So I guess we can throw in a butcher there, but how much? Oh, look at the meat that we're producing just on its own. You know, I, the only reason why I built the butcher shop is to have access to the painter shop, really. But, I mean, while we're here, we might as well try to get a butcher. We have 61 villagers. I kind of want to know... Okay, so 85 is opens this slot. What is the next benchmark here? So 75 opens up another slot there. And what of the Assassin's Guild is 80, Thieves Guild is 70, and the Rodent's Nest is 65. So let's try to not go over 65 people. Let's just get one butcher who shall be married. I think Petra, she's oldest. I go by like whoever's oldest gets to gets to marry, you know? Can they, can, would she marry Wolfram? Nah, I mean, average affinity, not worth it. Okay, let's see if we can grab a butcher. All right, so we were tremendously unlucky. Uh, we spent over what I think is like a, uh, I don't know, like a thousand hearts, but we spent a lot of hearts and we found nobody. So damn it. <laughs> Maybe we can spend money to recruit some folks. We only have 700. We have to wait a year for someone new to come in. What does this mean for some students don't have a mentor? Oh, my bad, my bad, my bad. We have to put this guy right there just so he's teaching. Yeah, so we fixed that. We corrected that. There is a mentor now. And we're just going to have to let time run, really. We're going to have to let hearts gather. We're going to have to let this time run down to, to recruit someone new. 
we want to get the butcher shop working, ooh, someone was born, then we have to just wait it out. We're in that holding pattern that I talked about earlier, the dreaded holding pattern. But you know what? C'est la vie, that is life. So right now I'm just spending money willy-nilly. No, I'm, I'm increasing at least one tier of the working conditions for every building, 150, because, I mean, why not? The longer our villagers can live, the better it is for us, the longer we sustain our resources. After a seemingly never- Oh, we have another divorce. It's Alan and Regina. Alan and Regina, do you have children? You do. Oh, what a bummer. They're just in a loveless ma- Why even have kids if you're just not feeling it? Okay, I feel like everybody who, I mean, then again, I made them wed, like, right, to enter as a requirement to, to live in this community. So, you know, having a, having a child is a high probability, but still. We now we have a lot of broken homes, a lot of broken marriages, and a lot of homeless villagers. <sighs> we gotta be very careful now. We really don't want to go over what we have in terms of our villager count, we want to make sure we don't strain our resources. What do I want to do? Oh, yeah, let's check out. Does anyone need mentorship? Loop needs to do a thing. All right, Loop, what do you want? What do you like to do? Where are you at, buddy? All right, it looks like we're going to dump Loop at the hospital. So we have a lot of villagers. We're single and looking. Uh, Regina, would you happen to like... First off, Petra, would you happen to like anyone who's already here? Is that a thing? You had average... No. How about you, Regina? Do you like anybody that's here? No, not really. Alan? Buddy? Do you like anyone that's here? We have an excellent- He likes Conrad! By like, a lot! Let's do this. Art of War treats feasting, reading gossip kittens. Art of War treats feasting, reading gossip kittens. They have about three gems on their love meter with excellent affinity. Love to see it. So I actually don't mind wetting them off because it saves on a house and that's something, that's a concern. That's like an actual concern that I have right now. Don't want to have to keep spending wood. You get the wood, you win the game. To build more homes because we want to save wood for these buildings. 3k? Get out of here. 1600? Okay, so it looks like we're gonna have to increase uh, wood or wood stuff. Wait, 4k? Is there anything that requires more than 4,000 wood to build? Not that I see. We just need to stockpile it. Okay, that's fine. That's fair. But yeah, like I was saying, we just need to save up on a house. We still have three villagers here. Uh, sure. Let's throw in Petra again. Maybe she can find a butcher. All right, so we have two on the love meter and average affinity. They may separate. It That might happen, but it is what it is. We got ourselves a butcher. Thanks a lot for that. Uh, Milo here, right? Whoa, what's this? Godrin and Bathilde. Past few weeks, Lakebrook received an increased amount of graffiti. Ah, oh, this is an art one. We got ourselves two Banksies over here. I want to be Banksies. The old generation is outraged. How can the whims of an idle, rebellious youth can- What? Two old people did it. Why are old people upset? Anyways, we have two new babies, as that prompt showed. Milo is in here now getting us start making use of some of the animals finally. Oh, we have two people who can work. We also have no one else who needs mentorship. So let's put Gladriel and Melazin uh, in jabs. Let's go ahead and put her here because we need lumber. Ah, for the Thieves Guild. I see, I see. But we're going to go ahead and put her in the building site. We're going to make a lot of tickets, which is, you know, not bad. Let's go ahead and let time run. We have about, it's only been three years <laughs> since we let time go. Jeez, but we need wood. We need as much wood as possible. Letting time run pretty quickly here at this point. My next thing I can do is spend money to lessen the amount of wheat we use for beer. That should really help out our wheat production and our beer production. Uh, we have four couples looking for love and two homeless villagers. We gotta put people in homes, folks. Put them in homes. Got a lot of singles here now. Oh, I spent wood. Oh, I don't want to do that. <sighs> I'm trying to save wood, end up spending wood. Let's go ahead and see if, I don't know, um, Wolfram. Oh, he's divorced. He's a divorcee, right? Not a divorcee. He's a widow. So let's not have him marry. That's totally fine that he's a, that he's alone. Um, we're going to go ahead and use Regina here. Is she here? Divorced, faith, morale. So that's, you know, Again, that's totally fine. That's better than widowed because she'll still have a relatively good chance at um, keeping a marriage because widowed basically reduces the re uh, relationship chances by 20%. Hate to see that. Minus 20 faith. And these are perma, perma, perma hits, I think. Anyways, Regina, is there anyone in Lakeburg you like? Gladriel? Oh. oh. 
that's right, Tindra. We synced on that. I think <laughs> her voice synced with my gasp. I'm gonna need to save on a house. That's what I need to do. So we're gonna try this, I think. Okay, we got two gems on the love meter, so couldn't get all three. That's okay, I do. We're just saving this on the house. If they don't like each other, they can just uh, divorce, okay? Simple as that. All right, let's just let time run. We're in good straights right now. Ooh, it's a lot of wood. Let's see, what do we need for any of this stuff? Oh, we could use a bit more iron, I think. Are we not producing a lot of iron? We're not. So let's go ahead and spend some money to help with that. I'm gonna use all of that to upgrade that there. There we go. There we have it. Let's go ahead also check if there's anyone who needs to be mentored. Yes, two kids need to be mentored, so give me a second while I <laughs> find out where these kids best fit in the camionette. Let's go ahead and open this up and throw a rose in here. I'm gonna toss them in the fisherman's hut just because we have so few fishers. And then I'm gonna upgrade the fishery as well. And then upgrade that there, perfect. Okay, let the time run. We can still recruit people, so I don't mind waiting for another farmer. And I don't want to spend money right now to reshuffle them, so we'll just wait. Oh, Gotrin died! Uh, pay tribute to Gotrin! What did Gotrin do? A mason! Ooh. Let's increase the, <laughs> the working conditions. We gotta increase that. That might be helpful. Um, who do we got here? So we have a livestock farmer, prankster, thief, seamstress. Nope, nope, nope. I could spend to get people in here, but again, I mean, the only person who needs to get married is her, really. But we have 64 people. At 65, we'll open up the rodent's nest. So if we were going to get someone, it should be a rat trainer, just to prepare for that. Let's go have uh, Melazin give it a go. There's a minor level four and I kind of want that right now. I was only able to get two on the love meter, two gems on the love meter. And we will hit I do and send this guy straight to the mines. Welcome to the mines of Moria. So as he works there, we're gonna have to get a rat trainer right now. It's an immediate concern. I said that I didn't want to rush to have more people in homes or whatever, but you know what? Going against it, I don't care anymore. Wolfram, find yourself a what is it? A rat trainer. Oh my god, still unlucky. Could not find anyone. I mean, there were a couple of rat trainers, but with bad affinity, and I'm like, I'm not gonna do that to Wolfram. He's already been divorced once. You know, I guess we could spend money just to change this up here. Yeah, let's go ahead and change this guy. Fisherman gatherer. No, it's just, we'll wait for the months to run out. Gotta save the money that we have. Health is really bad, so I wouldn't doubt if people start dropping like flies. Where are we at with their age here? 72 freaking years old. <laughs> Get a grip. How is that possible? <gasps> wow, I just got an achievement. Have, z have, have 20 villagers with injured trait at the same time. Health is not... <laughs> our, health, our health is really bad right now. When it comes to recruitment, where are we at here? Hunter, fisher, miner. Oh my god. Butcher, baker, carpenter. We need a rat hunter. This is so bad. <laughs> Oh boy, oh boy. Oh, we can build finally. Build the painter's workshop, why not? All right, so, oh yeah, let me check if anyone needs mentorship. Yeah, this one kid does. Let's find him a place. And then once we find him a place to get mentored, okay, it looks like Lumber Lodge would be nice. Once we get him situated, let's spend some hearts and get get try to get a rat trainer. You know what, even if it's bad affinity, I think I'm gonna get the rat trainer anyway. Our health for our peoples is uh, pretty, pretty bad. So we're gonna put him in there. All right, so we got barter, sell some bar rocks for some gold. Then we're gonna go couple hunting. Please find a rat trainer. I don't even care for affinity anymore. I did care and I was like, you know what? You've been divorced before. Let me go ahead and do right by you this time. But you're gonna be, you know, we're gonna remember you Wolfram as the sacrificial guy who just took in people into our community and you just took one for the team and we just thank you for it every single day. I say thank, oh, we got a rat trainer, bad affinity. There you go, perfect, love you. Oh, I don't even know, I don't even know her things were. Oh no, I didn't read it, I didn't read it. I Oh, I need at least one, I need to get it one. Oh, thank God, I was like, I need to get it right one time. All right, that's that's good enough. It's a match, oh, that's that's horrible. Oh, that's horrible, one gem on the love meter, I do. Thanks for that, Wolfram. Feel bad for the man. I mean, you know, I feel bad for his spouse. It's unkind and unfair to have done him the way we've done him, 
but we need people are sick people are dying there's people that are dying people need help and honestly uh you're doing everybody a favor wolfram because i'm trying to find them right now that's uh somewhere what Unemployed. Gladriel is unemployed. Oh yeah, there, there she is. Oh, he's widowed. Oh, that was my bad. So it's even worse. His spouse died, and I'm still forcing him into marriage. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a terrible human being. But <laughs> there we go. Wolfram, and you know what? You're doing right by Gladriel because you're giving her a place to live. You're giving her, um, you know, an opportunity to thrive in this community. So, Wolfram, thank you for that. Uh, this relationship is gonna go bottoms up pretty quickly, but that's okay. It's not okay, but anyways <laughs> Go to the rodents nest damn you here you go right there perfect love to see it health back up Hopefully no one dies. There's no real way to upgrade like the hospital So it's not like you can fix that or anything like that. Yeah, that's that's it for that. Oh, here we go We have another a oh, group therapy Led by Alan and Philomene, and Philomene, or Philomene, many depressed villagers try and organize themselves to do various activities together. Sticking together seems like a good move, and despite a general lack of ideas and a low willingness to devote themselves to anything specific, they hope to motivate and support each other somehow. Let them, or finance a cure, lose 70, get health for 20, 270 days, replace depressive trait with resilience, a calm trait, and they just get calm. And plus 10 to morale, which goes away, uh, which is a temporary boost. We do get clothes, it looks like, and they become best friends. Whereas we do this, and then they gain, replaces depressive trait with resilient trait. Yeah, let's do that. Let's, let's finance a cure. Leaving citizens to fend for themselves in such a condition is unthinkable. Of course, it is an investment, but ensures the well-being of the whole village in the long run. Alan and Philmoni's mental health is de definitely improving, and that benefits Lakeburg. Good for those two. One couple is in danger. Who is it? I mean, <laughs> who did I mess up this time around? Uh, here we go. The Valvert family. Yeah, I mean, yes. Obviously, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, I know. It's This, this one's on me, guys. I'm so sorry. Here, there you go. Give you two a gift just because I feel bad about what I did and how I ruined you as people. Oh, I'm sorry about it. What do you want me to do? I can't undo the past. We have a homeless villager. Did they divorce already? How do we have a homeless villager? Oh, someone came of age. And good at the carpenters, although we don't really need... Oh, we, we do need a carpenter workshop. Okay, put her in there. There we are. Make all the chairs. Oh, we have another person ready to work? Alric. Yeah, they're gone. They they divorced. Hate to see it. All right, Alric, you can farm. Why not? All right, is there anyone? <laughs> Look at all these singles. I just feel so bad for them. Find soulmate in Lakeburg. Anyone you like to save us on a home? We have a good affinity here. Uh, yeah, sure. Let's try this. Perfect. So we got three gems on this love meter, and it was a good affinity. So. This this bodes well for these two here. Let's see. Can Wolfram bring in a painter? <laughs> Wolfram, I'm so sorry. He's just I've he's he's widowed and he's suffering inside and I'm just like Mary. No, no, no. This was a bad decision. I didn't Oh, this was accidental. Wow. So this is the first time I'm actually going to deny a match cuz I accidentally clicked yes for some godforsaken reason. Or I do not. I don't. This is awkward. Oh my god. Why did that happen? Surroundings but like I was saying, I mean, he's still, <laughs> he's available again. No, I want to find a painter. Oh, Wolfram. You know, it's because he's such a hunk. It's because he's so good looking. And you know, it's just like everybody wants to be with him. And how, can you blame people? If I find a painter, you know, with any kind of affinity, I'm gonna pair him. <laughs> Poor bastard. <laughs> I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna pair him. Seamstress, innkeeper. No, no, no. Let's go ahead and spend that there, and then let's let the time run here, because I am curious if we can find <sighs> another two people. Actress! Maybe an actress we might need? Do we need an actress? Okay, let me check my amphitheater, the theater here. Ah, oh, we have two actors. Totally fine. What is the age of our... Oh, 74 years old, and she's like, what, 72? Ridiculous! How are they living that long? Who can say? Who can say? Odalyn has perished. What did she do? She was... What did Odalyn do? She was a rat trainer! That's not good! Oh, 
that's critical mass. Critical mass. Speaking of rat trainers, okay. Is there a rat trainer here? Oh, there was a rat trainer last time as well, and I just passed them because uh, I didn't know who would die or not. But anyways, let's go to barter. Okay, so Wolfram immediately has to pull in Bruno. Yeah, he's going to immediately have to pull in a, uh, a rat trainer. Let's see if we can find one. Oh, we found a painter with good affinity. All right, let, let's just... <laughs> we don't really need her. At this moment, priority is a rat trainer, but we only, but we we've, oh, but we can't choose anymore. We're out of hearts, and uh, I'm gonna do Wolfram right. All right, it's a good affinity. The relationship still may not last because again, he is just suffering inside, losing his his wife. Um, what was her name? Yacynthia. Yes. I mean, don't look at me like that. It's fine. <laughs> okay. Oh wow, three bars on or three gems on the love meter. Good affinity. The relationship will try to last, but I have my doubts. Either way, Anais, welcome to the family. We're going to use our tickets to upgrade this, and then upgrade it again, and then upgrade the worker's condition, and then that's it. There we go. She should be producing 12 paintings a year. And then do we have any caps here? Increase that, why not? Increasing the fruits there. Chairs, we can increase that as well. But now we need money. We need money. Sell some leather. So you can go back into here and increase what? Increase paintings. Why not? I think we're in a good place right now to go ahead and hit pause. Wow, we've accomplished a lot and the king is still alive. And I just want to thank, if I can, if I can just thank this young man. Well, this middle-aged man. Where are you, good sir? Where is the Wolfram family? Before we end the episode, I want to end on him because we have used him to bring in three villagers or two villagers who uh, work really well together. He's just a, he's a pal. And you know what? He's, he's Maybelline. No, he's worth it. Uh, where is he? <laughs> Let's all say a big thank you to Wolfram Somer. A really badass freaking name, if I can say so myself. Heartbroken, love just isn't eternal. That was his divorce. <laughs> uh, that was his divorce. He's widowed. He's sad. He hates his life. But we love him. And I think we should appreciate him. You appreciate him as I appreciate him. And hopefully we can see him in the next episode together. So I want to thank you all so much for watching. I do appreciate that. And I hope to see you in the next one. So until then, I will see you then. Bye for now. <laughs> oh, poor Wolfram. I'm sorry, pal.